Oh my life, I'm back. It's Monday. The sun's shining, but it's absolutely tipped down all night. The caravan was almost rocky. It was just hammering against the windows. But the sun's shining now, so that's all good. We've got a busy Monday ahead of us. We've got three lots of visitors into our friendship barn today, which is really nice because it means that Hida, Teddy Bear and Wren are going to get some extra loving and pampering in there. So join me for the rest of the day. I'm pleased to say that this little man is far more comfortable now. That's a really good walk on him. And it just shows, you know, when, when they get laminitis, you do literally have to cut right back on what they're eating. And then it takes a couple of days before everything settles down and they're comfortable again on their feet. So he's literally just got plain chaff there, soaked with a bit of water. It's got no sugar. Oh, look, we've got Twix come to say hello. Good morning, sweetheart. But he's a much happier boy. You can tell in his whole demeanour. So that's a relief. Look, hole, oh, we've got hail now as well. It's bouncing off the table. As somebody mentioned on a comment that apparently it's been the wettest winter ever recorded since the 1800s. So that kind of makes me feel a bit better that it's not just me whinging about the weather. But it's these guys down here that I feel bad for. And it's not because I feel bad about them being outside, because I know that being out and about is the healthiest place to be. And they definitely have fewer challenges in lots of ways, especially with their digestive systems when they're out 24 seven. And I will always prefer to keep them out and about but it's just the consistent rain, the driving rain uh, that just gets to them after a while. And that's why going back to the whole campaign, we want to have that flexibility so that when it is really dire, we can bring them in on occasions, but we'll still always put them back out. Morning, Wren. Morning, ladies. Morning, Hida. They often huddle together when the weather's not so good. And then when the better weather comes, I generally come down here in the morning. And a few of them will be lying down after spending the night eating. Oh, those lovely little faces. Oh, my, my. Nikki News and Annie. Annie won't be impressed having to stay out in this rain. I'll have to check her skin today. Little Dow Dow. She's a very important one. You know, she needs to be out and about and moving the whole time because I know that she's prone to gastric problems. So it's really important that she keeps moving and keeps everything flowing. There's Zhao. Little floppy do. Oh, it's a tough night, wasn't it, darling? Yodel. Oh, Hida. You gonna come in, sweetheart? And then little Pepper. The rain stopped now for a minute, and I believe it's going to be dry the rest of the week. up there somewhere. Everyone's yawning.
and he's come up gone straight to the hay bar Teddy's in here for now having his morning roll Feel better, and then Nero is up on the walker, and he's going to go and check out everywhere now. Go and see maybe Hoitzo, who's over in the round pen with little jubbers. He's escaped the round pen already, but that's because the fence isn't high enough for him. And then Men and Hida are going to have a little clean up. Hidda de fluffed. He's even getting new shoes today. So look, we got Chris here. And I was just talking. Well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've got new shoes. Hidda's getting new shoes. It's a good new shoe day. Yeah. I haven't got new new shoes. Oh, that squealing over there is JB and Nero having fun. But I was just talking to Chris about our gateway. And Chris is very kindly going to do us a quote for some gates to go across here because if you haven't picked up on what other things that Chris has done and made for us he made the bed that's in stable stays but also see he's more than just a farrier he made these doors on the friendship barn and going in here he made this beautiful gateway that we have in here too that slides across so that anybody in the friendship barn can get in and out easily all made all designed by Chris and made by hand so he's going to take some measurements down here today and put a surprise together it has got his lovely shiny new head collar on there he's got his new shoes and he's just having a quick leg trim to take all these fluffy bits off just to make him look a little smarter before his visitor arrives. So this isn't a full leg clip, it's just really a tidy up of all those long guard hairs. So this is more for aesthetics than anything else. gives the legs a slightly nicer shape but I'm not taking it short not at this stage you'll have a full leg leg trim probably in a couple of weeks once it's dry I'm also going to take all these long guard hairs off around his back legs just to again make him look a little neater They would naturally come off anyway. Now that it's warming up. So we just help them on their way.
cleaned up, tidy, in the friendship barn, waiting for Miranda and her family. Ren's got her new shoes on, she's just checking them out, making sure that they feel good. She's having a little wander before she gets a clean up. He's also doing Iceman, who managed to pull one off last night. That was probably a protest because he knew that Jodie was off lambing and isn't here for the next couple of weeks. Little Jubba's turn for a toe trim. Poor Chris has to get down on his knees. <laughs> Quite a lot of growth on there, isn't there? A lot of toe. Not so much on the bottom. There's a lot of toe. It grows forward, doesn't it, with his lammy? Yeah. yeah. You do quite a few Shetlands, don't you? Oh, hundreds, yeah. Hundreds, yeah, I do 30 in one place. Better with this tool, though. Still on there now. <laughs> Toes are done. He's going back out with Nero. Interesting, Chris said that he's had a little bit of lammy in his back feet as well. Is that quite unusual? No, not really. No? No. <laughs> quite often in the front, but when they've had it a few times, like in Lenny, do find they get in all four. It's not uncommon. Okay. <laughs> but he's walking so much better than he was the other day. Miranda and her mum and husband have had, I think, a great time in the friendship barn with Hida, and I think this is a true testament to how much pampering and loving and scratching and massaging he got by the amount of hair that's on the floor here. And I took a huge amount out of him this morning, but it's all just pouring out. So they're all gonna have those glorious summer coats very soon. These two also kept them very entertained in there because Nero had his foot up, the, up on the fence, he was taking the rope, he was playing with jubbers. So double entertainment. Hidda for cuddles and scratches and Nero for the hilarity factor. And around and ready for Teddy Bear and Donna, one of his number one fans, coming to spend time with him this afternoon. Reunited. Aww. Donna's Donna's bought us gifts. Donna and Matt. <laughs> you can't hide away from the camera. So I'm going to ask you now to explain this gift that that you bought us. So that's that's uh, my uh, treat for me. Uh, it, it's cold brew coffee. So I thought I'll come and uh, and, and share this. Oh, you are uh, sharing it. I was going to say when you said it was a treat no, no, for you. Share the experience. It goes well with chocolate. Yes. So it's perfect because it's arrived just at coffee time. So, Hol, you put the kettle on. Have you? You put the kettle on, yeah? Yeah. So we we can add some hot water to this. This. Remind me again what it's called. Cold brew coffee cold brew coffee. I'm sure that Hol will give you a score out of 10 after we've drunk it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get Freya to make a spreadsheet. Yeah, she could do, yeah, couldn't she? she? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you're going to head in here with Teddy Bear for a bit. He'll want the chocolates as well, but you can't have them, Teddy. So yeah, I've brought you my nice special box. Uh, Cadbury's 200th birthday. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, I did. I made you a biscuit. It looks like a little gingerbread man with a hat on with a crushed up face. 
It is a ginger biscuit. Is it? Yeah, sorry, that's really bad. I should have brought three, but I only brought one because I was expecting you to eat it in the morning. Oh, sorry. So sorry, I haven't brought you two a biscuit. Okay. I'll bring one next time, I promise. Yeah. All, all right, Kaz. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Absolute savagery. Yeah, that was a Karen moment. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's yeah. awful. Just ignore it, okay. yeah. 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 yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm drinking my cold pressed coffee yeah. as well. Oh, yeah. Mm. But it's okay here. Kaz, because you feel so put out about the biscuit, you can do the honours of opening and choosing the box first. <laughs> I'm going to try your biscuit. You're not trying to poison me, are you? Yeah, trying to finish you off. Mm. It's, a, it's, it's a ketogenic take. Yeah, it should have been a bit harder. I didn't bake them for long enough, but, oh, like you know, that. do you? Mm. Yeah, it's um, gluten-free flour, a bit of almond flour. Ginger in it, like yep. ginger, fresh ginger. Um, just ginger, like dried spice, a bit of kind of ginger paste, and then there's uh, bits of crystallised ginger in it. Mm. And then the icing is ketogenic icing <laughs> sugar with ginger in it and a bit of cinnamon and then that's just dark chocolate this is a good lunch time uh, good I think, I think we will work for this oh yeah i think we have <laughs> yeah so we've had um miranda who's one of our lovely patrons it was her first visit with her mum and her husband and they had little hiddy hops in there mm. and then we've got karen coming this afternoon not kaz <laughs> um having renska yeah a bit later so busy day and then we have Jill coming who I met many many years ago and she's had a number of Frisians in her life and she's coming for a night in state cool so yeah good day mm. now with Jodie off lambing all her beautiful sheep over the next couple of weeks I get to work a little bit with Iceman who He's such a fabulous horse and I haven't done a lot with him because he, I leave him as Jodie's project, but the times that I have worked with him, he's just beautiful to work with. I can see why he's a favourite of so many people. So he's had his, his fresh shoes on this morning and I'm just going to do a little bit of groundwork with him today and see how we get on. But the fact he's come in here straight away and he's looking, licking and chewing already and yawning shows that he knows that as soon as he comes in he needs to learn to switch off and just relax through his whole body. That's Teddy Bear nice and relaxed after his session in there. Did you have a nice time gorgeous? Yeah? Donna and Matt are just saying hello to Jubbers, to Nero. Paul's just turning it around in the friendship barn. And then it's Renska's turn. Little Auntie Ren. Get some time in there. She's going to sleep already. Because her and Hida had a very rough night last night. Which is why it's really lovely for them to go in there. So as I always say, it works both ways. The horses love it and our visitors love it. What are you doing with your eyes? Look at that beautiful mane. Have you got something in your eye, darling? Eh? Have you got something in your eye? There you go, I'll give it a little rub for you. Do you want me to put some drops in? I think it's probably just the wind, isn't it? Let me get you some drops beautiful girl you're very beautiful black and gold head collar as well because you're the golden girl i think it's just the wind that made her do that strange thing with her eyes but we'll just put a few drops in just to make sure there's nothing in there irritating her That way, if it did just get irritated by a bit of hair going in there, that's going to soothe it. There, her eye looks absolutely fine. I think it was just irritated, as I say, by that little bit of hair. 
was blowing in the wind. Are you ready to go and have a sleep now, Ren? I think you are. And now it's Renska's turn. Here's Hoitsy heading into his favourite bedroom. Where he likes to have his tea straight away. And then his guests will be joining him shortly for another night in stable stays. I'm just in the car with Bailey, just taking him to his, his weekly vocal coaching. And you've just opened a parcel address to you of scones or scones how do you like to say it Please. so we have no idea so there was nothing in there to say who it was from no um, wait there might be something in there you very lucky boy no are you going to change from brownies now to scones I might have to with all the attention for scones are getting I know Hull made some cheese scones yesterday apparently really were yeah. they good I don't know I didn't try them she only bought me a ginger cookie Made. Yeah, and it was really nice. Yeah. Oh, so go on, quickly find a recipe in there. What ones are you going to try next? I don't know. I really like the idea of the wild garlic scones. Because it is wild garlic season. Yeah. Uh, there's Ulster scones, um, wholemeal fruit scones, rhubarb oh. and stem ginger scones. Oh, that's different. Salted caramel and apple. Oh, oh, you're making me hungry wet now. Scones, wet right, an I'm going to have to start driving. Is there? I'm going to have to start driving now. So, what would you like to say to whoever it was who bought you this book? Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this is you... going to be very, very well used. <laughs> We're I don't think it'll be in the next video. <laughs> I don't think it will stay that clean for long, will it? I'll try and make, make sure I stay clean. Also... Will, will you get a video of the, the next baking session you do? If I can figure out how to film correctly. Oh, you can film well. Give it a go. Anyway, um, thank you to whoever yes. bought Bailey this book. I do have to book. just say one thing, though. It is officially settled from the National Trust. It's jam first and then cream. <laughs> officially settled. Let's have a look. It is. Yeah. But then again, what if you just cut it, cut it in half... Jam on one piece, then cream on the other, then perfect. Absolutely. Perfect. Mm -hmm.